Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel and as we continue checking out the settings app we are going to look at the adapter settings and options that are available through the uh, network and internet. We're talking here about your Ethernet or Wi-Fi card that is in your computer. So go into the settings by either going to the bottom right all settings or to the left at start menu and the settings gear. Here you will go into network and internet. So in the status page, one of the options that is available is change adapter options. What does that mean? Well, the adapter is that physical device that connects your computer to the internet or the network. It could be a Wi-Fi device. It could be an Ethernet uh, device but it is what makes that link between your computer and the internet or the network. Now, you can change options of this um, Wi-Fi or Ethernet adapter because there's a lot of things you can do. Sometimes some connections require specific uh, needs, specific uh, settings to actually work. And when that actually happens, uh, is that you have to go and change or know where to change some of these settings. So some of them are done here. There's also the status of your connectivity that is also visible here. Once you click, well, what you have is all your devices that are in, exist in your computer. Some are virtual, like the uh, ones that you see here on the middle. And you've got the Ethernet, which is has a little red X. It tells me it's not connected because I don't use wire. And I got Wi-Fi on the right side. This is the one that is being used right now and connected. When you double click on this, you will have the Wi-Fi status page, but you'll have also all sorts of details. One uh, is the speed, quality of connection, and so on. Uh, how long you've been actually connected and uh, give you if you have internet access or not. You have, of course, more details by clicking details. It gives you the diff different gateways and the, the uh, uh, IP address that you're using, depending on what you're using, including the type of device you're using. And of course, you have the wireless properties, which give you the uh, type of connectivity that you have, including your security access, what type of security you are using. When you have that, you have advanced settings that also gives you um, one last option, which is the uh, FIPS or Federal Information Processing Standard Compliance. Uh, this is used usually more in an enterprise setting than anything else. At the bottom, you will have the number of bytes sent and received by your computer. And of course, you also have the different properties of the adapter itself that you can actually add. So there are protocols, there are features that can be removed or added to your networking device, depending on what you have and what you do. And when you actually have put a uh, check mark, you actually install a protocol or a new feature to your device. Then you've got sharing on the right side and you can actually allow the other networks to share this connection this is an old standard, an old way of sharing that is now today not really useful, but uh, it, you know, in some cases it could work and be uh, interesting to have. You can disable the device, and of course, diagnose will give you a set of diagnosis of problems that you might have with your uh, device by itself. So that's what you have when you actually click here. Here it brings you to the control panel. This is where you see Control panel has options that settings doesn't have and so on. So these are things that, of course, are uh, interesting. Do you, you get a back and forth between the uh, control panel and the settings app. So change adapter options is where you can change some of the settings. Sometimes you might have or you might be told to change options, to change settings, especially if you connect to a uh, work network. Sometimes you need to go in these little places. Enjoy our videos. Please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.